Today, we're diving into a topic that's incredibly important yet often overlooked, self-deception. Yes, you heard that right. We're talking about those sneaky ways we lie to ourselves and how this impacts every aspect of our lives. Have you ever wondered why you keep making the same mistakes or why you feel stuck in certain areas of your life? We're going to explore how the brain's internal BS detector works and learn ways to improve it. We'll also dive into real-life examples, the psychology behind self-deception and practical steps to become more self-aware and authentic. Trust me, this is a conversation you don't want to miss. Self-deception is our enemy, the BS detector. Your brain forgot to install. All right, folks, let's have a serious chat about something that's more common than the common cold. Self-deception. We're not talking about those little white lies we tell ourselves to feel better, like saying, I'll totally start my diet tomorrow. We're talking about the deep-seated, often unconscious ways we distort reality to protect our egos, avoid discomfort, and maintain a false sense of control. The Master Illusionist Your brain is a master illusionist. It's constantly weaving stories, rationalizing behaviors, and filtering information to fit your preconceived notions. Imagine having a personal spin doctor working overtime to make you look good, even when you're not. As the philosopher Friedrich Nietzsche put it, we lie loudest when we lie to ourselves. In other words, self-deception is the most insidious form of deception because it's so hard to recognize. The cost of self-deception. Self-deception might seem harmless or even helpful at times. It can protect us from painful truths, boost our self-esteem, and help us cope with difficult situations. But in the long run, self-deception is a toxic habit that can lead to a host of problems. Stagnation. When we deceive ourselves, we resist change and growth. We cling to outdated beliefs, unhealthy habits, and toxic relationships. We stay stuck in our comfort zones, afraid to face the truth and make the necessary changes to improve our lives. Missed opportunities. Self-deception blinds us to opportunities. We might convince ourselves that we're not good enough, smart enough, or capable enough to pursue our dreams. As a result, we settle for less than we deserve and miss out on chances to learn, grow, and expand our horizons. Broken relationships. Self-deception can erode trust and intimacy in our relationships. When we lie to ourselves, we're more likely to lie to others. We might hide our true feelings, avoid difficult conversations, or engage in passive-aggressive behavior, all of which damage our relationships. Inner conflict. Self-deception creates a disconnect between our conscious and unconscious minds. We might say one thing, but our actions and emotions tell a different story. This inner conflict can lead to anxiety, depression, and a general sense of unease. The BS Detector Upgrade So, how do we upgrade our internal BS detectors and break free from the clutches of self-deception? Here's a deep dive into practical steps. Cultivate self-awareness. Start by regularly reflecting on your thoughts, feelings, and actions. Journaling can be a powerful tool for this. Write down your experiences and feelings each day to help you identify patterns of self-deception. Seek honest feedback. Ask trusted friends or mentors for their honest opinions about your behavior and decisions. Be open to their feedback, even if it's hard to hear. Their perspectives can provide valuable insights into areas where you might be deceiving yourself. Practice mindfulness. Mindfulness meditation helps you become more aware of the present moment and your inner experiences. It can help you recognize when you're starting to deceive yourself and redirect your thoughts towards more honest self-assessment. Challenge your beliefs. Regularly question your assumptions and beliefs. Ask yourself why you hold certain beliefs and whether they are based on reality or self-deception. This can help you uncover and correct distorted thinking. Embrace discomfort. Accept that facing the truth can be uncomfortable. 
Growth often requires stepping out of your comfort zone and confronting painful realities. The more you practice this, the better you'll become at recognizing and overcoming self-deception. Self-awareness. The first step towards breaking free from self-deception is to become aware of your own biases, blind spots, and defense mechanisms. Pay close attention to the stories you tell yourself, the excuses you make, and the ways you rationalize your behavior. Self-awareness involves recognizing when you're not being entirely honest with yourself and understanding why. Radical honesty. Be brutally honest with yourself, even if it hurts. Ask yourself tough questions, challenge your assumptions, and face your fears head on. As the writer Cheryl Strayed wisely said, the truth will set you free, but first it will piss you off. It's crucial to confront the uncomfortable truths about yourself to grow and change. Seek feedback. Don't rely solely on your own perspective. Seek feedback from trusted friends, family members, mentors, or therapists. They can offer valuable insights into your blind spots and help you see yourself more clearly. Sometimes, others can see things about us that we cannot, and their feedback can be a catalyst for personal growth. Embrace discomfort. Growth and change often come with discomfort. Don't shy away from difficult conversations, challenging situations, or uncomfortable truths. Remember the saying, the only way out is through. Embrace the discomfort as a necessary part of the journey towards self-improvement and authenticity. Real-world examples. Philosophy is best served with a side of reality. Here are some examples to illustrate how self-awareness and honesty can transform lives. The procrastinator. Instead of telling themselves they'll do it later, the procrastinator acknowledges their fear of failure or discomfort and takes action despite it. The unhappy spouse. Instead of pretending everything is fine in their marriage, the unhappy spouse initiates an honest conversation with their partner about their needs and concerns. The addict. Instead of denying their addiction, the addict seeks help, acknowledges their problem, and takes steps toward recovery. The present is all we possess. Make the most of it, you won't get it back. All right, folks, let's have a heart-to-heart -heart about time. Not the what time is it kind of time, but the deeper, more philosophical kind, the fleeting nature of existence, the preciousness of the present moment, and the importance of living fully in the here and now. The Time Warp Illusion We often get caught up in the past or the future. We dwell on regrets, replay old conversations in our heads, and worry about what might happen tomorrow, next week, or next year. But here's the kicker. The past is gone. The future is uncertain, and the only thing we truly have is the present moment. As the philosopher Eckhart Tolle put it, realize deeply that the present moment is all you ever have. Make the now the primary focus of your life. The Stoic Time Hack The ancient Stoics, like Marcus Aurelius and Seneca, were masters of time management. They understood that time is our most valuable asset and that we should use it wisely. They emphasized the importance of living in the present moment, focusing on what we can control and accepting what we can't. As Marcus Aurelius put it, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be, be one. By embracing these principles, you can start to live more authentically and make the most of the time you have. Remember, the present is a gift. Cherish it and use it wisely. How to make the most of the present moment. Mindfulness. Mindfulness is the practice of focusing your attention on the present moment without passing judgment. It involves being fully engaged in whatever activity you're doing, whether it's washing dishes, talking to a friend, or simply breathing. By practicing mindfulness, we can develop a deeper appreciation for the present moment and lessen our tendency to dwell on the past or worry about the future. 
gratitude. Gratitude involves appreciating what we have instead of focusing on what we lack. When we are grateful for the present moment, we are less likely to dwell on regrets or worry about the future. As the saying goes, gratitude turns what we have into enough. Purposeful action Don't just let life happen to you. Take control of your time and energy by setting goals, pursuing your passions, and making a difference in the world. As the philosopher Aristotle said, we are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. Embrace impermanence. Everything in life is temporary. Our relationships, our possessions, even our bodies. They all change and eventually fade away. By embracing the impermanence of life, we can learn to appreciate the preciousness of each moment and live more fully in the present. Real World Examples The Regretful Retiree Instead of dwelling on the things they didn't do, the regretful retiree focuses on enjoying their present life, spending time with loved ones, and pursuing new hobbies and interests. The Anxious Student Rather than worrying about upcoming exams or future career prospects, the anxious student focuses on studying effectively, seeking help when needed, and enjoying the learning process. The Grieving Parent Instead of dwelling on the loss of their child, the grieving parent cherishes the memories they have, finds ways to honour their child's legacy, and focuses on living a life that their child would be proud of. By adopting mindfulness, gratitude, purposeful action and embracing impermanence, we can make the most of the present moment and lead a more fulfilling life. It's not the thing, it's what we make of it. Your mind's reality, distortion field. All right, folks, let's drop a truth bomb that might just change the way you see the world. Reality is subjective. No, I'm not saying we're all trapped in our own personal matrix, though that would make for a fascinating movie plot. What I mean is that our perception of reality is shaped by our thoughts, beliefs and interpretations. In essence, it's not the events themselves that determine our experience, but how we interpret and react to those events. The Perception Prism Think of your mind as a prism. When light passes through a prism, it refracts into a spectrum of colours. Similarly, when events occur in our lives, our minds refract them through our own unique lenses, composed of our beliefs, experiences and biases. This means that two people can experience the same event and have completely different interpretations of it. As the philosopher Epictetus said, it's not things that upset us, but our judgments about things. In other words, it's not the traffic jam that's making you angry. It's your judgment that the traffic jam is a terrible inconvenience ruining your day. The Power of Perception Our perception of reality profoundly impacts our lives. It shapes our emotions, actions and relationships. If we view the world through a lens of fear, scarcity and negativity, we'll experience life as a constant struggle. However, if we see the world through a lens of abundance, opportunity and gratitude, we'll experience life as a gift. As the psychologist William James put it, the greatest discovery of my generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their attitudes of mind. By recognising that our thoughts and beliefs shape our reality, we can begin to take control of our perceptions and create a more positive, fulfilling life. Instead of letting events dictate our happiness, we can choose to interpret them in a way that empowers us. How to Hack Your Perception and Create a More Empowering Reality Challenge Your Assumptions our perceptions are often influenced by unconscious assumptions and beliefs. Take time to examine these beliefs and ask yourself if they are truly accurate. Are they based on solid evidence, or are they simply stories you've been telling yourself? By questioning your assumptions, you can uncover any false beliefs that may be limiting your perspective. 
Reframe your perspective. When you encounter a challenging situation, try to reframe it in a more positive light. Look for opportunities for growth, lessons to be learned, or the silver lining. As the saying goes, every cloud has a silver lining. By reframing your perspective, you can turn obstacles into opportunities. Practice gratitude. Gratitude is a powerful tool for shifting our perception from a mindset of lack to one of abundance. Take time each day to appreciate the good things in your life, no matter how small they may seem. By focusing on what you are grateful for, you can cultivate a more positive outlook on life. Cultivate optimism. Optimism is not about denying reality or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about choosing to focus on the positive aspects of situations, seeing the possibilities, and believing in your ability to overcome challenges. By cultivating optimism, you can approach life's difficulties with a more constructive and hopeful attitude. Surround yourself with positivity. The people we spend time with have a significant impact on our mindset. Surround yourself with positive, supportive people who lift you up and inspire you to be your best self. By being in a positive environment, you can reinforce your own positive mindset. Real-world examples The job loss Instead of viewing a job loss as a failure, reframe it as an opportunity to pursue a more fulfilling career or start your own business. This perspective shift can help you see the potential for new beginnings, rather than just an end. The breakup. Rather than seeing a breakup as a rejection, reframe it as a chance to learn more about yourself, heal old wounds, and find a more compatible partner. This approach allows you to see personal growth and future possibilities in what might initially feel like a loss. The health diagnosis. Instead of viewing a health diagnosis as a death sentence, reframe it as a wake-up call to prioritise your health, make positive lifestyle changes, and cherish each day. This mindset can transform a challenging situation into an opportunity for better self-care and a more meaningful life. By challenging your assumptions, reframing your perspective, practising gratitude, cultivating optimism, and surrounding yourself with positivity, you can hack your perception and create a more empowering reality. These strategies help you navigate life's challenges with resilience and a positive outlook. The Strong Accept Responsibility, your adulting guide to owning your responsibilities. All right, folks, let's have a real talk about responsibility. We're not just talking about doing your chores or paying your taxes, although those are important too. We're talking about a deeper, more philosophical kind of responsibility, the kind that comes with being a mature adult in this complex world. We're talking about owning your actions, your choices, and your life. The blame game. It's easy to blame others for our problems. We can blame our parents, our bosses, our partners, or even society. But blaming others doesn't change our situation. It keeps us stuck in a victim mentality and prevents us from taking control of our lives. The Power of Responsibility Taking responsibility for our lives is empowering. It means recognising that we have the power to change our circumstances, make better choices, and create the life we want. As the philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre put it, man is condemned to be free, because once thrown into the world he is responsible for everything he does. How to Embrace Responsibility Acknowledge your role. Recognise that you have a role in creating your current situation. Whether it's through your actions, choices or attitudes, acknowledge your part in it. This self-awareness is the first step toward taking control. Stop making excuses. Excuses are just ways to avoid taking responsibility. Stop making excuses for why things are the way they are and start taking action to change them. This means no more blaming external factors for your situation. Take action. Responsibility is not just about recognising your role in a situation. It's about taking action to improve it. 
set goals, make plans, and take steps to create the life you want. This proactive approach helps you move from a state of helplessness to one of empowerment. Learn from mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. The key is to learn from them and use them as opportunities for growth. Instead of blaming others or making excuses, ask yourself what you can learn from the experience and how you can do better next time. This mindset turns setbacks into valuable lessons. Be accountable. Hold yourself accountable for your actions and choices. Take responsibility for your successes and your failures. When you're accountable, you empower yourself to make positive changes. Accountability fosters personal growth and resilience. By acknowledging your role, stopping the excuses, taking decisive action, learning from mistakes and holding yourself accountable, you can truly own your responsibilities. This approach not only enhances your personal growth, but also empowers you to create a more fulfilling life. Real-world examples Let's explore how the concept of taking responsibility can be applied in daily life. The career stagnation. Instead of blaming the economy or your boss for your lack of career progress, take responsibility for your professional development. Seek out new skills, network with others in your field, and look for opportunities to advance. By actively pursuing growth, you can break free from stagnation and propel your career forward. The relationship issues. Instead of blaming your partner for relationship problems, take responsibility for your part in the issues. Communicate openly, work on your own personal growth and strive to understand your partner's perspective. Taking responsibility for your actions and contributions can lead to healthier, more fulfilling relationships. The financial struggles. Instead of blaming external circumstances for financial struggles, take responsibility for your financial decisions. Create a budget, reduce unnecessary expenses, and find ways to increase your income. By managing your finances proactively, you can achieve greater financial stability and security. It's easy to play the blame game when things go wrong. It's tempting to point the finger at someone else. Our parents, our partners, our bosses, the government, or even the universe. But here's the thing. Blame doesn't solve problems. It just keeps us stuck in a cycle of victimhood and resentment. As the philosopher Jean-Paul Sartre put it, Man is condemned to be free, because once thrown into the world, he is responsible for everything he does. In other words, we have the freedom to choose our actions, and with that freedom comes responsibility. The Empowerment of Ownership Taking responsibility for our lives is not about self-blame or guilt. It's about empowerment. It's about recognising that we have the power to shape our own destiny, to learn from our mistakes, and to make positive changes. As the psychologist Jordan Peterson put it, to stand up straight with your shoulders back is to accept the terrible responsibility of life with eyes wide open. It means deciding to voluntarily transform the chaos of potential into the realities of habitable order, how to embrace responsibility. Acknowledge your role. When something goes wrong, don't immediately look for someone else to blame. Take a step back and ask yourself, what role did I play in this situation? What could I have done differently? This self-reflection helps you identify areas for improvement. Learn from your mistakes. Mistakes are inevitable. We all screw up from time to time. But the difference between the strong and the weak is how we respond to those mistakes. The strong learn from their mistakes, make amends and move on. The weak wallow in self-pity and blame others. Learning from your mistakes is crucial for personal growth. Focus on solutions. Instead of dwelling on the problem, focus on finding solutions. Ask yourself, what can I do to improve this situation? What steps can I take to prevent this from happening again? 
Shifting your focus to solutions empowers you to take positive action. Take action. Don't just talk about taking responsibility. Actually do it. Take action to correct your mistakes, make amends, and move forward. As the saying goes, actions speak louder than words. Your actions demonstrate your commitment to responsibility. Embrace accountability. Surround yourself with people who will hold you accountable for your actions. This could be a friend, a mentor, a therapist, or even a coach. Having someone to check in with can help you stay on track and make progress towards your goals. Accountability partners provide support and encouragement. By acknowledging your role, learning from mistakes, focusing on solutions, taking decisive action, and embracing accountability, you can truly own your responsibilities. This approach not only enhances personal growth, but also empowers you to create a more fulfilling and successful life. Real World Examples The Failed Project Instead of blaming their team members or the circumstances, the project manager takes responsibility for the failure. They analyse what went wrong, learn from their mistakes, and develop a plan to improve future projects. By owning their role and seeking solutions, they turn a setback into an opportunity for growth and better management practices. The Broken Relationship Instead of blaming their ex-partner for the breakup, the heartbroken individual takes responsibility for their own role in the relationship's demise. They seek therapy to address their own issues, reflect on what they could have done differently, and learn how to build healthier relationships in the future. This self-awareness and proactive approach help them grow emotionally and prepare for better relationships. The financial setback. Instead of blaming the economy or their employer, the person facing a financial setback takes responsibility for their financial choices. They create a budget, cut unnecessary expenses, and seek out resources to improve their financial literacy. By taking control of their finances, they empower themselves to achieve greater financial stability and security. Never complain, never explain. Your guide to ditching the drama and embracing the Zen. All right, folks, let's talk about complaining and explaining. We're not discussing legitimate grievances or constructive feedback, those are important. We're focusing on chronic complaining, endless venting, and the constant need to justify ourselves to others. These habits drain our energy, waste our time, and keep us stuck in negativity. The complaining contagion. Complaining is like a virus. It spreads easily, infects our minds, and leaves us feeling drained and demotivated. When we complain, we focus on what's wrong with our lives, our jobs, our relationships, the world. This focus on negativity amplifies problems and creates a self-fulfilling prophecy of misery. As the philosopher Seneca put it, we suffer more often in imagination than in reality. In other words, we often make ourselves more miserable than we need to be by dwelling on our complaints and grievances. The Explanation Trap Explaining ourselves is often a way of seeking validation or approval from others. We want people to understand our actions, choices and motivations. But here's the thing. We don't need everyone's approval. We don't need to justify ourselves to anyone. As Eleanor Roosevelt said, No one can make you feel inferior without your consent. Seeking validation gives others power over us and keeps us from confidently owning our decisions. The Stoic Solution The ancient Stoics like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus had a simple solution for dealing with complaining and explaining. Don't do it. They believed our energy is better spent focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and attitudes, rather than on things beyond our control. As Marcus Aurelius put it, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realise this and you will find strength. Embracing Responsibility and Positivity 
Taking responsibility for our lives means acknowledging our role in situations, learning from our mistakes, and focusing on solutions. It means embracing accountability and surrounding ourselves with positive influences. By ditching the habits of complaining and explaining, we can reclaim our energy and direct it toward productive, empowering actions. By applying these principles to real-world scenarios, whether it's in our careers, relationships or finances, we can break free from the blame game and take charge of our lives. This approach not only enhances our personal growth, but also leads to a more fulfilling and successful life. How to break free from the complaining and explaining trap Focus on solutions instead of dwelling on problems. Shift your focus to finding solutions. Ask yourself, what can I do to improve this situation? What steps can I take to move forward? This proactive approach helps you stay positive and empowered. Practice gratitude. Rather than complaining about what you lack, focus on what you have. Take time each day to appreciate the good things in your life, your health, loved ones and opportunities. Practicing gratitude can shift your perspective and improve your overall well-being. Choose your words wisely. Words have power. Complaining reinforces negative thoughts and feelings, whereas speaking words of encouragement, optimism and gratitude can uplift your spirit and those around you. Be mindful of your language to foster a more positive outlook. Take action. Don't just talk about what you want to do. Actually do it. Take action to improve your life, your relationships and your community. Action leads to tangible results and reinforces a sense of responsibility and control over your circumstances. Let go of the need for approval. You don't need everyone to like or agree with you. Focus on living a life true to your values, regardless of others' opinions. This self-assured approach can free you from the burden of seeking constant validation. Real-world examples The office complainer Instead of joining in on office gossip and negativity, focus on your own work and find solutions to any problems you encounter. This not only enhances your productivity, but also sets a positive example for your colleagues. The social media ranter. Instead of venting frustrations on social media, channel your energy into positive actions. Volunteer your time, support a cause you believe in, or simply be kind to those around you. This shift can create a more positive impact both online and offline. The self-doubting perfectionist. Rather than seeking validation from others, focus on your own growth and development. Set goals, challenge yourself, and celebrate your achievements. This self-directed approach fosters confidence and personal fulfillment. You choose the outcome. Your life ain't a coin toss. Flip the script. All right, folks, let's have a heart-to-heart -heart about outcomes. Not the win-or-lose kind, but the deeper, more personal kind. We're talking about the power we have to shape our own destinies, create the life we want, and overcome challenges. The Victim Mentality It's easy to fall into a victim mentality believing that we're powerless pawns in the game of life, that our outcomes are predetermined by fate or circumstance. But here's the thing. That's a load of bull. Sure, there are things we can't control. The weather, the economy, other people's actions. But even amidst chaos and uncertainty, we always have a choice. We can choose how we respond to events, how we interpret them, and how we move forward. As the philosopher Viktor Frankl put it, everything can be taken from a man but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances, to choose one's own way. The power of agency agency is the capacity to act intentionally and make choices that shape our lives. It's the opposite of the victim mentality. When we embrace our agency, we recognize that we're not just passive recipients of fate, but active participants in our own lives. This means taking responsibility for our actions, decisions, and their consequences. 
By recognizing and embracing our agency, we can take control of our lives, overcome obstacles, and create the future we desire. It's about flipping the script and taking charge of our destiny, regardless of the challenges that come our way. Embracing your agency. Acknowledge your role. When something goes wrong, don't immediately look for someone else to blame. Take a step back and ask yourself, what role did I play in this situation? What could I have done differently? This self-reflection helps you identify areas for improvement. Learn from your mistakes. Mistakes are inevitable. We all screw up from time to time. The difference between the strong and the weak is how we respond to those mistakes. The strong learn from their mistakes, make amends, and move on. The weak wallow in self-pity and blame others. Learning from your mistakes is crucial for personal growth. Focus on solutions. Instead of dwelling on the problem, focus on finding solutions. Ask yourself, what can I do to improve this situation? What steps can I take to prevent this from happening again? Shifting your focus to solutions empowers you to take positive action. Take action. Don't just talk about taking responsibility. Actually do it. Take action to correct your mistakes, make amends, and move forward. As the saying goes, actions speak louder than words. Your actions demonstrate your commitment to responsibility. Embrace accountability. Surround yourself with people who will hold you accountable for your actions. This could be a friend, a mentor, a therapist, or even a coach. Having someone to check in with can help you stay on track and make progress toward your goals. Accountability partners provide support and encouragement. By acknowledging your role, learning from mistakes, focusing on solutions, taking decisive action, and embracing accountability, you can truly own your responsibilities. This approach not only enhances personal growth, but also empowers you to create a more fulfilling and successful life. Active creators of our own reality. The power of belief. Psychologist Albert Bandura once said that people's beliefs about their abilities profoundly affect those abilities. In other words, if we believe we're capable of achieving our goals, we're more likely to take action and actually achieve them. So, how do we harness our agency and choose the outcomes we want in life? Set clear goals. What do you want to achieve? What kind of life do you want to create? Get clear on your goals and write them down. This will give you a sense of direction and purpose, making it easier to take actionable steps toward your dreams. Charter action. Don't just sit around waiting for things to happen. Take action toward your goals, even if it's just small steps. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Progress, no matter how small, is still progress. Learn from your mistakes. We all make mistakes. The key is to learn from them and use them as stepping stones to success. As inventor Thomas Edison put it, I have not failed. I've just found 10,000 ways that won't work. Mistakes are opportunities for growth and improvement. Embrace challenges. Challenges are not obstacles. They are opportunities for growth. When we face challenges head-on, we learn new skills, build resilience, and expand our comfort zones. Embracing challenges helps us grow stronger and more capable. Cultivate a growth mindset. A growth mindset is the belief that our abilities and intelligence can be developed through dedication and hard work. By embracing a growth mindset, we open ourselves up to new possibilities and become more resilient in the face of setbacks. This mindset fosters continuous learning and adaptability. Real-world examples. The entrepreneur. When faced with a business setback, the entrepreneur doesn't give up. They analyze the situation 
learn from their mistakes and pivot their strategy. This adaptability and perseverance often lead to eventual success. The student. When struggling with a difficult subject, the student doesn't give up. They seek help from their teachers, study harder, and persevere until they master the material. Their determination and hard work pay off in the long run. The athlete. When injured, the athlete doesn't give up on their dreams. They rehab diligently, work with a physical therapist, and come back stronger than ever. Their commitment to recovery and improvement sets them up for future success. Everything is change your guide to surfing the waves of life and not getting wiped out. All right, folks, let's talk about change. Not the loose change you find in your couch cushions, but the big, sweeping, sometimes scary kind of change that happens in life. We're talking about the jobs that disappear, the relationships that end, the bodies that age, and the world that's constantly shifting beneath our feet. The Illusion of Permanence We humans have a funny way of clinging to the illusion of permanence. We want things to stay the same, to remain predictable and comfortable. But the truth is, change is the only constant in life. Everything is in flux, from the cells in our bodies to the stars in the sky. As the Greek philosopher Heraclitus famously said, No man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river, and he's not the same man. In other words, everything is constantly changing, including ourselves. Resistance is futile. Resisting change is like trying to swim upstream against a raging current. It's exhausting, frustrating, and ultimately futile. The more we resist change, the more we suffer. As the Buddhist saying goes, pain is inevitable, suffering is optional. In other words, we can't avoid the pain of change, but we can choose how we respond to it. We can resist it and suffer, or we can embrace it and grow. Embracing change. Accept change as inevitable understanding that change is a natural part of life can help us accept it more readily. Recognize that change brings opportunities for growth and new experiences. Stay flexible and adaptable. Being flexible and adaptable allows us to adjust to new circumstances more easily. Embrace the unknown and be open to new possibilities that change can bring. Focus on what you can control. Instead of dwelling on what you can't control, focus on what you can. Your thoughts, actions and attitudes are within your control. By directing your energy toward these areas, you can navigate change more effectively. Seek support and guidance. Don't be afraid to seek support from friends, family or professionals during times of change. Having a strong support system can help you manage stress and maintain a positive outlook. By setting clear goals, taking action, learning from mistakes, embracing challenges, and cultivating a growth mindset, you can actively create the life you want. Recognize that change is inevitable. Stay flexible. Focus on what you can control and seek support to navigate life's changes successfully. Embracing these principles will empower you to shape your own reality and thrive amidst the uncertainties of life. The Changemaker's Mindset Embrace impermanence. The first step in embracing change is acknowledging that nothing in life is permanent, neither our youth, health, relationships, nor possessions. By recognizing the impermanence of all things, we can learn to cherish the present moment and release attachments to things beyond our control. Cultivate flexibility. Life often surprises us with unexpected twists. Cultivate the ability to adapt to new circumstances, adjust your plans, and navigate challenges with resilience. Remember, the only thing that's constant is change. Find opportunities in challenges. Every setback presents an opportunity for growth. Instead of viewing challenges as obstacles, see them as chances to learn, evolve, and emerge stronger. 
Entrepreneur Reid Hoffman aptly noted, If you're not embarrassed by the first version of your product, you've launched too late. Practice, non-attachment. Avoid clinging to the past or worrying excessively about the future. Focus on the present moment and appreciate what you have now. Buddhist monk Thich Nhat Hanh wisely said, The present moment is filled with joy and happiness. If you are attentive, you will see it. Real World Examples The Career Changer Rather than clinging to an unfulfilling job, a career changer embraces the opportunity to explore new paths aligned with their passions and values. The Divorcee Instead of dwelling on the past, a divorcee sees their situation as a chance for renewal, self-reinvention, and the creation of a new life. The aging individual facing the aging process with grace, an individual focuses on the wisdom and perspective that comes with age, remaining active, healthy, and engaged in life. Always the same. Your guide to finding novelty in the mundane. All right, let's delve into the monotony of life, not just the daily grind of routines and repetitive tasks, but the deeper existential sense of monotony. It's that feeling, like you're living each day in a predictable loop, akin to Bill Murray in Groundhog Day. The Groundhog Day Syndrome In our modern world of routines and schedules, it's easy to feel trapped in repetitive patterns. Yet while our external circumstances may seem monotonous, our internal experiences can evolve. Each day offers a fresh opportunity for learning, growth and experiencing new perspectives. The Philosopher's Wisdom Ancient philosophers like Heraclitus and Marcus Aurelius emphasised the dynamic nature of change and the importance of embracing the present moment. Heraclitus famously said, no man ever steps in the same river twice, for it's not the same river, and he's not the same man. This underscores that everything is in constant flux, even if not always apparent. Marcus Aurelius's Perspective Marcus Aurelius advocated for finding joy in everyday moments and focusing on the quality of our thoughts. He emphasised, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Therefore, guard accordingly and take care that you entertain no notions unsuitable to virtue and reasonable nature. Embracing change and finding meaning. Embrace the flux of life. Recognising impermanence allows us to embrace change rather than resist it. By accepting the ebb and flow of life, we can find deeper meaning and fulfilment in our experiences. Seek novelty in routine. Even amidst daily routines, challenge yourself to discover new perspectives and opportunities for growth. Approach each day with curiosity and openness to new experiences. Cultivate inner growth. Focus on cultivating resilience, adaptability and mindfulness. These qualities empower you to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and purpose. Choose your response. Ultimately, how we respond to life's changes defines our journey. Embrace each moment as an opportunity to evolve, learn and shape your own narrative. By embracing impermanence, cultivating flexibility, finding opportunities in challenges and practicing non-attachment, you can adopt a mindset that empowers you to navigate life's changes with resilience and optimism. This approach not only enhances your personal growth, but also enriches your experience of the journey. The Novelty Ninja Mindfulness Be present in the moment. Notice the intricate details, the subtle shifts, and the unique beauty in every experience. As Zen Master Thich Nhat Hanh suggests, walk as if you are kissing the earth with your feet. Gratitude Instead of dwelling on what's lacking, appreciate what you have. Find joy in life's simple pleasures, a hot cup of coffee, a sunny day or a meaningful conversation. Gratitude has the power to elevate the ordinary into something extraordinary. Curiosity. Approach each day with a spirit of curiosity and wonder. 
ask questions, explore new ideas, and embrace variety. After all, variety is the spice of life. Creativity. Infuse creativity into your daily routines. Experiment with new recipes, take unfamiliar routes, or delve into a fresh hobby. Remember Pablo Picasso's insight. Every child is an artist. The problem is how to remain an artist once we grow up. Connection forge meaningful connections with others. Engage in deep conversations, share experiences, and nurture relationships. Reflecting Aristotle's view, man is by nature a social animal. Real-world examples. The commuting photographer. Rather than zoning out during commutes, this photographer captures the beauty of their surroundings through photography, appreciating the everyday scenes. The mindful eater. Instead of rushing through meals, this mindful eater savours each bite, savouring the flavours, textures and aromas of their food. The curious learner. Always hungry for knowledge and skills, this learner reads avidly, attends workshops, and engages in diverse conversations to broaden their horizons. It's easy to get better, but better at what? Your guide to a meaningful life. All right, let's talk about genuine self-improvement. Not the quick-fix promises of infomercials, but the profound journey toward a more fulfilling and impactful life. The Trap of Constant Hustle in today's world, we're bombarded with messages urging us to hustle harder, to constantly improve ourselves. We're pushed to optimise every aspect of our lives, from morning routines to social media presence. Yet amidst this pursuit, we often forget a crucial question. Better at what? As Seneca wisely noted, it is not that we have a short time to live, but that we waste a lot of it. Life offers ample time for meaningful achievements if we invest our efforts wisely. In essence, genuine self-improvement isn't just about doing more. It's about investing our time and energy in pursuits that align with our values and aspirations. It's about striving for personal growth that enriches our lives and makes a positive impact on those around us. Imagine your life's journey as a target where the bullseye represents your purpose, passion, and reason for existence. Surrounding it are outer rings filled with distractions, obligations, and pursuits that hold less significance in the broader scope of your life. The ultimate aim is to focus your energy and efforts on hitting that bullseye, aligning your actions with what truly matters to you and resonates with your core values. But how do you pinpoint your bullseye? How do you determine what you should be striving to improve? Self-reflection. Take the time to introspect on your values, passions and strengths. What activities come naturally to you? What brings you joy and fulfilment? What kind of impact do you aspire to make in the world? Experimentation. Embrace new experiences and explore different paths without fear. Often, these ventures reveal hidden talents and capabilities you didn't know you possessed. Feedback. Seek guidance from trusted individuals, friends, family, mentors or coaches who can provide valuable insights into your strengths and areas needing improvement. Their perspectives can illuminate blind spots and refine your path forward. Alignment. Once you identify your bullseye, ensure that your decisions and actions are in harmony with it. Avoid investing time and energy in pursuits that do not contribute to your overarching goals. Real-world examples. The career changer. Rather than pursuing career advancement solely for status, this individual steps back to ask what work truly fulfills them. They might choose to pursue a passion project, start their own business, or transition to a different field altogether. The fitness enthusiast. Instead of focusing solely on aesthetic goals, this person prioritises building strength, endurance and overall health. Exercise becomes a means to enhance their quality of life beyond physical appearance. The lifelong learner. Rather than accumulating credentials for the sake of it, this learner focuses on acquiring knowledge and skills that genuinely interest them.
and foster personal growth. By prioritizing our purpose, passions and values, we ensure that our efforts are meaningful and aligned with our aspirations. This approach helps us avoid the trap of mere busyness and instead directs our energy toward personal excellence and fulfillment. As Confucius wisely noted, the will to win, the desire to succeed, the urge to reach your full potential, these are the keys that will unlock the door to personal excellence. Show the qualities you were made for, unleash your inner rock star, philosophical edition. The quest for authenticity, embracing individuality in a conformist world. In today's world, the journey towards authenticity stands as a profound testament to the human spirit's longing for truth and genuine self-expression. Amidst societal pressures and cultural norms that often prioritize conformity, the pursuit of authenticity becomes both a personal odyssey and a collective challenge. It's a journey that resonates deeply with individuals who seek to reclaim their true identities from the constraints imposed by external expectations. Understanding Authenticity Authenticity, at its core, entails living in alignment with one's deepest values, beliefs and aspirations. It involves embracing one's uniqueness without succumbing to the pressures to conform. Psychologically, authenticity is linked to greater well-being, fulfillment and resilience. When individuals align their actions with their genuine selves, they experience a sense of coherence and integrity that enriches their lives. The Masked Self Navigating Social Expectations From an early age, society introduces us to various roles and norms that shape our identities. These roles, son or daughter, student, employee, friend, are not inherently negative, but they can become restrictive when they overshadow our authentic selves. We learn to wear masks, adapting our behaviours and beliefs to fit in or gain approval. Over time, these masks can obscure our true essence, leaving us disconnected from our inner truths. Unveiling Authenticity The Journey Inward The quest for authenticity begins with introspection, a deliberate journey inward to rediscover and reconnect with our core being. It involves a process of self-discovery where we peel away layers of conditioning, societal pressures and fears that have veiled our authentic selves. This journey is not always easy. It requires courage to confront uncomfortable truths and resilience to navigate the uncertainties of personal growth. Steps Towards Authentic Living – Self-Awareness and Reflection Engaging in introspective practices such as journaling, meditation, or therapy, can deepen our understanding of ourselves. These practices provide space for self-exploration and help unearth hidden aspects of our identity. Aligning values and actions. Authenticity thrives when our actions align with our core values. This alignment fosters a sense of integrity and congruence, empowering us to make decisions that resonate with our true selves. Courageous vulnerability. Embracing authenticity requires vulnerability, the willingness to show up as we are, imperfections and all. It involves embracing authenticity requires vulnerability, the willingness to show up as we are, imperfections and all. It involves embracing authenticity requires vulnerability, the willingness to show up as we are, imperfections and all. It involves embracing authenticity requires vulnerability, the willingness to show up as we are, imperfections and all. It involves embracing authenticity requires vulnerability, the willingness to show up as we are, imperfections and all. The Quest for Authenticity Embracing Individuality in a Conformist World in a world that often prioritizes conformity, the pursuit of authenticity stands as a profound testament to the human spirit's quest for genuine self-expression and fulfillment. This journey is not merely about self-discovery, but also about reclaiming one's true identity from the constraints imposed by societal norms and expectations. It is a journey that resonates deeply 
with individuals who yearn to live a life that is true to themselves, free from the masks that conceal their genuine essence. Understanding Authenticity Authenticity is more than just being true to oneself. It is about living in alignment with one's deepest values, beliefs and aspirations. It involves embracing one's uniqueness and individuality, despite the pressures to conform. Psychologically, authenticity is associated with greater well-being, resilience and a sense of fulfilment. When individuals live authentically, they experience a profound sense of coherence and integrity in their lives. The Masked Self Navigating Social Expectations From a young age, individuals are socialized into various roles and expectations that shape their identities. These roles, such as son or daughter, student, employee or friend, provide structure, but can also become restrictive when they overshadow one's authentic self. Many people learn to wear masks, adapting their behaviours and beliefs to fit in or gain approval. Over time, these masks can obscure one's true identity, leading to a sense of disconnection from oneself. Unearthing hidden talents and strengths Central to embracing authenticity is the discovery and nurturing of hidden talents and strengths. These may be skills or passions that have been neglected or suppressed due to societal pressures or personal insecurities. Embracing authenticity involves reconnecting with these innate gifts and allowing them to flourish. This process not only enhances self-fulfillment, but also contributes positively to one's overall well-being and sense of purpose. Cultivating Self-Awareness Self-awareness plays a pivotal role in the journey towards authenticity. It entails deep introspection, honest reflection on one's values and motivations, and a willingness to confront both the light and shadow aspects of one's personality. Practices such as mindfulness, journaling or therapy can facilitate this process by providing a structured approach to self-exploration and understanding. Mindfulness Practices Mindfulness involves being present in the moment without judgment, allowing individuals to observe their thoughts, emotions and physical sensations with acceptance and compassion. This practice enhances self-awareness by fostering a deeper understanding of how one's mind operates and how external influences shape one's perceptions and behaviours. Journaling as a Reflective Tool Journaling serves as a reflective tool for capturing thoughts, emotions and experiences. Through journaling, individuals can explore their innermost thoughts and feelings, uncovering patterns of behaviour and identifying areas where alignment with authenticity may be lacking. Writing allows for a private dialogue with oneself, promoting clarity and insight into one's true desires and aspirations. Therapeutic interventions. Therapeutic interventions such as psychotherapy or counselling provide a supportive environment for exploring issues related to identity, self esteem, and authenticity. Therapists work collaboratively with individuals to identify underlying beliefs and fears that may hinder authentic living. Through therapeutic dialogue and exploration, individuals gain insight into their personal narratives and develop strategies for aligning their lives more closely with their authentic selves. Embracing vulnerability and resilience. Authentic living requires courage and vulnerability. The willingness to embrace imperfections, uncertainties, and the possibility of rejection. It involves letting go of the need for external validation and embracing one's true self, flaws and all. Vulnerability fosters genuine connections with others and strengthens resilience, enabling individuals to navigate life's challenges with authenticity and integrity. Integrating Authenticity into Daily Life Living authentically is an ongoing process that involves making conscious choices aligned with one's values and aspirations. It requires courage 
to prioritize authenticity over conformity and resilience to overcome obstacles along the way. Integrating authenticity into daily life involves setting boundaries, establishing boundaries that honor one's needs and values, even if they differ from societal expectations, seeking authentic connections, cultivating relationships with others who value authenticity and support one's journey towards self-discovery and growth, practicing self-compassion, being kind and compassionate towards oneself, especially during times of self-doubt or vulnerability. The evolution of authenticity. Authenticity is not a fixed state, but an evolving process of self-discovery and growth. As individuals gain deeper insights into their authentic selves and cultivate self-awareness, their understanding of authenticity may shift. What it means to live authentically can vary across cultures, contexts, and stages of life reflecting the dynamic nature of personal identity and self-expression. Living authentically is a profound journey that transcends mere existence. It's about embracing vulnerability and imperfection as fundamental elements of the human experience. Authenticity, contrary to popular belief, doesn't demand perfection, but rather invites us to accept and integrate our vulnerabilities, mistakes, and moments of uncertainty into our self-concept. This acceptance forms the bedrock upon which we build resilience and genuine self-expression. When we embark on the path of authenticity, we acknowledge that growth often emerges from our challenges. Each mistake becomes a stepping stone, offering lessons that shape our character and deepen our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Embracing vulnerability means allowing ourselves to be seen as we truly are, without the shield of perfectionism or the fear of judgment. It's through this openness that authentic connections with others are forged, based on genuine empathy and mutual understanding. Moreover, authenticity extends beyond personal relationships into the realm of purposeful living. At its core lies the alignment of our actions and decisions with our true purpose. Discovering one's purpose involves a journey of introspection and self-discovery, wherein we explore our passions, values and aspirations. It's about identifying the impact we wish to have on the world, the values that guide our choices and the legacy we aim to leave behind. Finding and living our true purpose requires courage, the courage to pursue meaningful goals even in the face of uncertainty to challenge societal norms that may conflict with our values, and to prioritise authenticity over conformity. It's a continuous process of growth and adaptation as we navigate the complexities of life and evolve as individuals. Living authentically also entails cultivating self-awareness, which is crucial in understanding our motivations, behaviours and patterns of thought. Self-awareness enables us to make conscious choices aligned with our values and purpose, rather than being driven by external expectations or fleeting desires. Through practices such as mindfulness, journaling, and seeking feedback from trusted sources, we deepen our understanding of ourselves and our impact on others. Furthermore, authenticity involves embracing diversity and inclusivity recognising and respecting the unique perspectives and experiences of others. It requires us to engage in open dialogue, listen empathetically, and advocate for justice and equality. By fostering an inclusive environment, we create spaces where everyone feels valued and empowered to express their true selves authentically. In essence, living authentically is a multifaceted journey that encompasses self-acceptance, purposeful living, resilience, and genuine connection with others. It's about embracing the entirety of our human experience, the highs and lows, strengths and vulnerabilities, as essential parts of our individual and collective growth. As we cultivate authenticity in ourselves, we inspire others to do the same, creating a ripple effect of positive change and meaningful connections in our communities and beyond. Overcoming Fear and Resistance 
Fear of judgment, failure, or the unknown can often hinder our journey towards authenticity. Recognizing and confronting these fears is crucial. It involves stepping outside your comfort zone, challenging limiting beliefs, and embracing the discomfort of growth. Remember, as Joseph Campbell said, the cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you seek. Nurturing Authentic Relationships Authenticity extends beyond self-discovery. It also shapes the way we relate to others. Authentic relationships are grounded in mutual respect, honesty, and acceptance of each other's true selves. They encourage growth, celebrate individuality, and provide a nurturing environment for both parties to thrive authentically. Integrating Authenticity into Daily Life Living authentically isn't a one-time achievement, but an ongoing commitment to aligning your thoughts, actions, and relationships with your true self. It requires mindfulness in daily choices, authenticity in communication, and a willingness to prioritize inner alignment over external validation. Practices for Cultivating Authenticity Mindfulness and Presence Practice being fully present in each moment, observing your thoughts and emotions without judgment. Self-expression. Engage in activities that allow you to express your true self creatively, whether through art, music, writing, or other forms of personal expression. Boundaries. Establish healthy boundaries that honor your needs and values, allowing you to protect your authenticity in various relationships and situations. Gratitude and Reflection Cultivate a practice of gratitude and reflection, acknowledging the journey towards authenticity and celebrating milestones, no matter how small. Know thyself, self-discovery and introspection. Ancient Greek philosophy, particularly Socrates' dictum, Know Thyself, emphasizes the profound journey of self-discovery. It invites individuals to engage in deep introspection, reflecting on their innermost thoughts, feelings, and motivations. This process isn't merely about surface-level introspection, but delving into the core aspects that define one's identity and purpose. Introspection involves carving out moments of solitude to ponder existential questions. What truly drives me? What values and principles guide my decisions? What am I genuinely passionate about? Through this reflective process, Individuals unearth their innate passions, talents, and aspirations. It's about reconnecting with the authentic self beyond societal expectations or external influences. Self-reflection complements introspection by encouraging a critical examination of one's thoughts, actions, and experiences. It's not just about knowing oneself, but understanding how past events and decisions shape current beliefs and behaviours. By scrutinizing these aspects, individuals gain clarity on their strengths, weaknesses, and areas for personal growth. Embrace your quirks, celebrating authenticity. Each person possesses quirks, imperfections, and idiosyncrasies that make them uniquely human. Instead of viewing these traits as flaws, embracing them fosters a sense of authenticity and self acceptance. The adage, be yourself. Everyone Else is Already Taken, by Oscar Wilde, underscores the importance of embracing one's individuality without fear of judgment or conformity. Celebrating quirks involves acknowledging and cherishing those distinctive traits that define who you are. These quirks often contribute to creativity, innovation, and personal charm. They reflect the richness of human diversity and add depth to interpersonal relationships. Embracing quirks empowers individuals to express themselves authentically, fostering genuine connections based on mutual acceptance and understanding. Challenge your assumptions. Embracing growth through critical inquiry. Human beings frequently harbour assumptions and beliefs shaped by personal experiences, societal norms, or inherited ideologies. However, these assumptions can sometimes be limiting constraining personal growth and innovation. Challenging assumptions involves engaging in critical inquiry and questioning the validity and relevance of entrenched beliefs. 
Critical inquiry encourages individuals to examine their assumptions through a lens of curiosity and open-mindedness. It prompts questions such as, how does this belief influence my decisions and behaviours? What evidence supports or challenges this belief? What alternative perspectives exist that I haven't considered? By fostering a habit of critical inquiry, individuals cultivate intellectual humility and openness to new ideas. Embracing new perspectives emerges from the willingness to let go of rigid beliefs and embrace alternative viewpoints. This openness expands intellectual horizons, stimulates creativity, and promotes adaptive thinking. It enables individuals to navigate complexity and uncertainty with resilience and insight, fostering personal and professional growth. Following your curiosity is not merely a passive pursuit, but an active engagement with the world around you. It involves paying close attention to those moments when something sparks your interest, igniting a sense of wonder or intrigue. These sparks, often subtle and fleeting, can lead to profound discoveries about yourself and the world. Curiosity operates as a compass, guiding you towards unexplored territories of knowledge and experience. When you follow your curiosity, you embark on a journey of self-discovery where latent talents and passions may come to light. This journey is not always straightforward. It involves navigating uncertainty and embracing the unknown. However, it is through this process that you uncover hidden potentials and uncover new pathways in life. Taking action is pivotal in transforming curiosity into meaningful outcomes. It's not enough to passively observe or contemplate your interests. You must actively engage with them. This engagement often requires courage and initiative, the willingness to step beyond your comfort zone and experiment with new possibilities. Paulo Coelho's assertion that the world is changed by your example, not by your opinion, underscores the power of action in creating real impact. It's through your actions that you inspire others and effect tangible change in the world around you. Each step taken in pursuit of your curiosity becomes a catalyst for personal growth and societal transformation. Consider historical figures who exemplified this principle. Innovators like Leonardo da Vinci, whose insatiable curiosity led him to explore art, science and engineering, revolutionised their fields through relentless experimentation and inquiry. Their willingness to challenge conventions and explore unconventional ideas reshaped the course of history. In contemporary times, the entrepreneurial spirit thrives on the principle of curiosity-driven innovation. Visionaries like Elon Musk, driven by their curiosity about space exploration and sustainable energy, have founded companies that push the boundaries of technology and redefine what's possible. Beyond individual achievements, curiosity fosters a deeper connection with the world and its diversity. It encourages empathy and understanding by prompting us to explore different perspectives and cultures. This openness to learning fuels personal development and enriches our interactions with others. Moreover, curiosity nurtures resilience and adaptability in the face of adversity. When you approach challenges with a curious mindset, you are more likely to view setbacks as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. This attitude empowers you to persist in the pursuit of your goals and navigate life's uncertainties with courage and optimism. Cultivating curiosity as a lifelong practice requires nurturing certain habits and attitudes. Practicing mindfulness allows you to cultivate awareness of your thoughts and feelings, enabling you to recognize moments of curiosity as they arise. Engaging in active listening promotes deeper understanding and encourages you to ask thoughtful questions that stimulate curiosity. Furthermore, embracing a growth mindset fosters resilience and a willingness to learn from failures. Viewing challenges as opportunities for growth rather than setbacks enhances your capacity to adapt and evolve. 
By reframing setbacks as valuable learning experiences, you transform adversity into a springboard for personal and professional development. Real-world examples The late bloomer, Julia Child's Culinary Odyssey Julia Child, an American culinary icon, didn't begin her cooking career until her 40s. Before she embarked on her culinary journey, she had a varied background, including work in advertising and as a researcher. Her pivot into the culinary world was marked by a passion for French cuisine, which she discovered while living in Paris with her husband. Despite starting later in life, Julia Child's dedication, curiosity and perseverance led her to revolutionise American cooking through her books, most notably Mastering the Art of French Cooking and her television show, The French Chef. Julia Child's story resonates deeply with the concept of a late bloomer. It challenges the societal notion that success must come at a young age or within a specific time frame. Her journey illustrates that passion and dedication can lead to remarkable achievements, regardless of when one starts. Moreover, Julia Child's authenticity shone through her genuine love for food and her unwavering commitment to sharing her knowledge with others, making her a beloved figure not just in the culinary world, but in popular culture as well. The Career Changer, Aligning Passion with Profession Many individuals find themselves in careers that do not align with their passions or core values. This mismatch often leads to dissatisfaction and a sense of unfulfillment. However, the decision to change careers, while daunting, can be a transformative step towards living authentically. Reflecting on one's values and strengths is crucial in this process. It involves introspection to understand what truly drives and fulfills them. This self-awareness lays the foundation for identifying career paths that resonate with their authentic selves. Transitioning careers requires courage and resilience, as it often involves stepping outside comfort zones and facing uncertainty. Yet those who embark on this journey often discover renewed enthusiasm and purpose as they align their professional lives with their passions. The narrative of The Career Changer highlights the importance of personal growth and development. It encourages individuals to prioritise their happiness and fulfilment over societal expectations or conventional career paths. By embracing change and pursuing paths that align with their values, career changers not only enhance their own well-being, but also contribute positively to their communities and industries through their renewed sense of purpose and commitment. The Creative Misfit – Embracing Uniqueness and Innovation Creative individuals often perceive themselves as outsiders or misfits due to their unconventional ideas and perspectives. However, it is precisely this uniqueness that enables them to bring fresh insights and innovation to the world. Creativity thrives in environments where authenticity is embraced and diversity of thought is celebrated. The journey of the creative misfit involves navigating challenges such as resistance to change or skepticism towards unconventional ideas. Yet it is through embracing their authenticity and staying true to their creative vision that these individuals make significant contributions. Whether in the arts, sciences or entrepreneurship, creative misfits challenge norms, break barriers and inspire others to think differently. Creativity is not bound by conformity. Rather, it flourishes when individuals dare to explore new possibilities and express themselves authentically. By fostering environments that nurture creativity and celebrate diversity, society can harness the transformative power of innovation to address complex challenges and cultivate a more inclusive and dynamic future. Conclusion Living Authentically and Reaching Potential the stories of Julia Child as a late bloomer, individuals who change careers to align with their passions, and creative misfits who bring fresh perspectives all underscore the importance of living authentically and pursuing paths that resonate with one's true self. 
These narratives challenge traditional notions of success and highlight the transformative power of embracing authenticity. Living authentically involves introspection, courage, and a willingness to pursue one's passions despite challenges or societal expectations. It requires individuals to prioritize their own happiness and fulfillment, recognizing that true success lies in aligning their actions with their values and aspirations. By celebrating the journeys of late bloomers, career changes, and creative misfits, we not only honor their achievements, but also inspire others to embrace their uniqueness and pursue their own paths towards fulfillment. Each narrative reminds us that it is never too late to embark on a journey of self-discovery and personal growth, and that authenticity is the foundation for living a meaningful and purposeful life. So, let's confront the tendency for self-deception. While our minds may protect us from discomfort, it can limit our growth. By cultivating self-awareness, embracing honesty, and seeking constructive feedback, we can break free from illusions and lead more authentic and fulfilling lives. What's your approach to dealing with self-deception? Share your thoughts below. And if you enjoyed this discussion, hit that subscribe button for more thought-provoking content. Until next time, stay true to yourself and keep evolving.